Thoughts with Jason Watkins and Tala Govaya. Before they join us, let's have a look at the latest crimes that they are hoping to solve. We have a victim, two witnesses, three murder inquiries. All in one day. Are you questioning me as a suspect? Is that? What is going on here? Would you be willing to give us your fingerprints? No. There's a lot of no's here, folks. Oh, please welcome Tala and Jason. Hello. <laughs> Good to welcome. see you. Um, now, it's back for the fourth series. Hugely popular series. Maria's already been in touch. She says, I love this. So glad it's coming back. What do you think, Jason, is the secret to its success? Uh, Tala, I think, probably. <laughs> I think it's, I mean, it's, oh. a light, it's a light crime comedy drama thing. And I think, it I think it's got a very wide appeal. So um, I think that's... And we get wonderful guests. It's shot in Bath, which is beautiful. Mm. But I think the thing that sustains it and why it's done so well, perhaps, is, is actually our relationship, isn't it? That mm. we're very different. Or we're different They're unlikely, officers. aren't they? Yeah. In terms of a Chalk parent. Chalk and cheese. Chalk and cheese, yes. I'm sort of towards the end of my career and you're sort of uh, starting <laughs> out. <laughs> and uh, we view the world differently, but we learn as we go through the differences and the similarities between us. So, yeah, it's... Yeah. Uh, it's fun. You, you touched on the uh, the brilliant guests that you have there. Um, I know you both love having them on. Um, we, we, Will Young, you've had on. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. Bond villain. It was, uh, Toby, Stevens. Toby Stevens. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What else was there? There was not Pixie Lot. That's the one I want to talk Pixie to you about Lott. because I heard you got caught humming to her songs on stage. <laughs> on oh, the set. Tala. I googled before she came. I was like, oh, what was that song that I used to listen to? And then. It was all about the night. And then I got it stuck in my head. So then um, every time I was like, just don't sing it, don't sing it. <laughs> yeah. And then like the last day I was humming it on set. I was like, no. Did she pull you up on it? Did she like no. join in or I anything? I don't know if she, if Did she. Did she recognise the tune? <laughs> she must have clocked <laughs> it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I didn't I do I it quite justice. Yeah. It so up. then when Will Young came on, I was like, don't Google any songs. <laughs> don't remember any songs. <laughs> See, Tyler, I've sung Will Young's songs when he comes on here, so don't worry. Right. Yeah. I'm guilty of it. You mentioned Bath being a feature, and it mm. is. It's sort of a character in itself. You know, people yeah. love the atmosphere that Bath brings to the series. Do you love filming there, Tala? It's beautiful city, it's isn't it? It's so beautiful, and we have so many different locations and big, posh houses, and, it, yeah, it feels lovely. It's yeah. like we're in Bridgeton. Grand. Very grand. Mm. But then the middle of Bath is busy isn't it yeah it's so when we're filming like in a cafe in the middle of bath it's everyone we're kind of part of the furniture now everyone's like oh, hi james hi tala <laughs> you know we're like friendly neighbors so people just come and just watch yeah. Just, <laughs> just watch what's going on. Yeah. Like, we're like, oh, we're okay. still working. <laughs> Trying to get um, an umbrella in the way or something. <laughs> uh, Jason, this isn't the only crime drama that you've been involved in. Um, mm. Line of Duty, obviously, yeah. you was involved in as well. You must be picking up a few tips and tricks as to, like, if you wanted to do this in real life. You know, yeah, I, do, I mean, this, I think this is the big lie about acting, is that if you do a, play a part of a detective, somehow you think you are a detective. <laughs> so... Uh, that's a very dangerous <laughs> yeah, precedent. True. So, but I, I mean, we do two things in a way. We kind of, we as characters solve the puzzle of whatever you know the show is that 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 whatever the crime is that episode. But we also we solve the the sort of we solve the puzzle of the the script. So there are two things going on at the same yeah. time. So we've got very good at sort of solving the puzzle of the script, yep. and by doing that we solve the crime. But no, I think it would be disastrous if I was to you know don a hat and go out and sort of. <laughs> Prosecute people, right? But you say yeah. that, apparently, you've become very good at cooking as well, because, yeah. Tali, you were saying that even though in the series your relationship is being put to the test, but Jason's been treating you to some nice meals. Yeah. He used to be sort of pasta and pesto, wasn't it? Let's it be was. honest. Yeah, thanks. And then... <laughs> well, nothing wrong with that. True. It's true. He'd just done cooking with the stars, oh. and it yeah. was elevated. Go on, top dish. Uh, sea bass, I think sea bass is oh. just, just you know, grilled. I'm um, just fried in butter yeah. and you know, Look sealed. He's even got bare hands. Like, like, it's it's now, yeah. It's one of the Rue brothers. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but my wife now is, is 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 laughing. I can imagine her at home just laughing. But I did pick up. I just done cooking with the stars. So. I had a few recipes that I treated you to, didn't I? Yeah. And we went through the script and I cooked for you and Max and, you know, your partner. So, yeah, it was, it was fun. And I really got into yeah. it. And some of my recipes I'm allowed to do at home, but not all. 
I thought you was about to release a cookbook there. I, was gonna, I thought it was like some they are available. I thought you were going to say funny that. Funny you should say that. Uh, <laughs> if there are any yeah. potential publishers out there. <laughs> oh, God. Well, the new series of McDonald and Dodd starts on Sunday, 8 o'clock on ITV1 and ITVX. Uh, right, still to come, Sandy Tuxvig will, is waiting, sorry, in the wings, ready to entertain us with some fun facts about theatre. <laughs> it's time to welcome our next guest tonight. It's Sandy Tuxvig. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Right, Sandy, let's get straight into yeah, it, shall on, we? Um, so you and the the QI elves, are they called? They are, they yeah, are. So although the Danish word is Nissa, which I prefer. Nissa, so yes, the, 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 the QI Nissa. QI Nissa, okay. thank you. Okay, that's who write the questions on, on yeah. QI. Yeah. Um, now, you've been delving into the world of theatre. Um, so, you know, what is it, you know, it's for a new show that you've got coming up, so what is it that audiences can uh, expect from Well, I just thought we would explode out into the actual theatre, because I thought that would be fun. So <laughs> me and the elves are really having a sort of a jolly. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we said, th You'd start small, right? A little place in a pub or something. No, we're doing the Drury Lane Theatre. Oh, wow. uh, because why not? Um, and uh, I really like this idea. I'm one of the tiniest comedians, and it is the largest stage <laughs> in the West End. So uh, we're going to have to have a bit of razzle-dazzle. There's going to be some music and some fun. And I might introduce the actual QI elves onto the stage. <gasps> they never get seen. Wow. And I promise you, people will be shocked by what they see. Because they're taller. Why? <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> they're not all suited to being seen oh, publicly, really? I think. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's... I'm being that polite. Is... I'm being polite. No, they're wonderful. Um, <laughs> and, um, and the wonderful thing... Well, you'll know this about theatre. The wonderful thing about theatre is that you're 30 times more likely to laugh when you're in the company of other people. There's something about doing live shows. Yeah. Your heart synchronises mm -hmm. with the rest of the audience and you have a wonderful time. Uh, and we're going to be talking about silly stories uh, that perhaps people don't know about the history of theatre. Um, okay, I'll give you a quick example. Oh, okay. good, go on. 1894, yep. biggest French actress, Sarah Bernhardt. You've heard of Sarah Bernhardt? Yes, she yes. lost a leg. The person, exactly, her, yes. And she played Hamlet and all these things. The person who made twice the money as her that year was a Frenchman called Le Petermen. Okay. Right. Now, I don't know how to describe the act. He was a specialist in, I'm going to put this really politely, <laughs> passing wind, OK? <laughs> he was so good, he could do the entire French national anthem. No. And I love this about the public. The public <laughs> would rather see that than Sarah Bernhardt giving her Hamlet. I think that's... I a... don't know if I would. Would you not? No. It was no. Very... Doesn't that's... that hoisted by your own petard, that actually comes from that act? I believe. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, yes. Yeah. So there's loads and loads of things that we say that are actually from theatre. I mean, that, in fact, hoist by your impetard is originally a sailing term. Yes. Um, but lots of sailing Sa terms made their way into the theatre. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, it's called One Night Only. Yes. But it's not. <laughs> no. So it's on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's on for two nights, uh, so uh, you name a show and immediately uh, another one comes along. Um, uh, yes, no, it's on for two nights because every single time you do a show, particularly the kind that we do where we interact with the audience, uh, there's an element where we try and find the cleverest person in the room and the entire audience has to play along. You'd struggle here, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, it's different every night. You, you know that, don't you? Even if you're doing the same play over and yeah. over again, every time you have a live audience, there's something new about it. There's something new that you discover, but also um, because we're, we're, we're hoofing it in many instances uh yeah it's it's two nights but called for one night only i like that don't you think i i think I like that's it. a yeah. selling point i think it is I a like selling it. point yeah. can i take you back to the elves or the um nissa sorry nissa yeah very good nissa yeah, yeah. good yeah very good that's very smart um have you ever been to like a pub quiz with them I should, shouldn't I? I mean, they, it would be or horrendous. Or at least test friends. the material, right? I don't know, I'm just a bit fascinated and, and by them. And check it out. Uh, I, I'll be honest, I've never socialised with them. Again, it's that, <laughs> that thing of being seen in public. You'll see why. You'll I can't see wait why. Okay, to okay. see wait, You're yeah. building them up. Yeah, I can't wait yes, to see uh, them. I wanted to give everybody a nice surprise, <laughs> and uh, that's going to be one of the things. You'll yeah. see why. Um, now, of course, as, as you've said, Jason and Tala oh. have both done theatre. Yeah. Tala has got a question for oh. you, Sandy. Tala, oh. over to you. Take it away. OK. So the whistling. Yeah. You're not supposed to whistle in a theatre. That's right. You know that. It's a bad... It's a superstition. Yes. And me and my partner both have completely different stories. OK, and what's yours? So mine is that sailors used to work in a theatre when they weren't sailing and they would do all the ropes for the sets coming in and okay. they whistle to each other. So yeah. if you whistled backstage, you either got hit by a set or they, you made a scene change happen. OK. And someone and what, was doing something. And what's your partner's version? Something about gas pipes. Wow. And okay. the, if you whistled, <laughs> people would think it was 
gas oh. leaking. Yeah, gas oh. leaking and everyone would run out of the theatre. Okay. Okay. Sandy? I, I mean, the gas thing is so mad, I've never even, <laughs> never even heard that, but I like it a lot. Um, so you're sort of half... You are half right. Um, your partner is entirely incorrect. Um, uh, so, uh, so the beginning enough. of... <laughs> the begin once theatre kind of comes indoors and, uh, and it gets more complicated and there are lots of ropes, uh, it is actually quite difficult to communicate from the stage to the stop, and they did use whistles, much like they did on sailing ships. The idea that sailors were all of the crew backstage, that's probably really <laughs> unlikely. It just sounds like a nice thing. But they used to put a W on the prompt copy. So the prompt copy is the bit the stage manager tells mm -hmm. you what's going to happen next. So if there was a cue to raise a piece of scenery or whatever, they would put W and you would hear a whistle. And audiences didn't think anything of it. They just went, oh, there's a whistle and the next thing is going to go. So we don't whistle backstage because somebody might mistake it for a cue wow. and a piece of scenery ah. might come down on your head. There you go. Uh, so it is genuinely unlucky. Unlike things like uh, actors think it's unlucky to wear green, for example, um, but that's just nonsense. So there was a G Molier was in a play called the Hypochondriac, and he died during a performance of the yeah. Hypochondriac, and he was wearing green, and that is the reason that people oh, right. thought ah. it was probably unlucky to wear green. We did that play so, in Uni. Yeah. Did we you? Did. <laughs> yes. Um, now we have to talk very quickly about yeah. your novel, Sandy. Oh, I know. I've been very. Sounds fantastic. I've been very, very busy. Uh, I'm also going to go out and tell the public about Friends of Dorothy, which is a new book that I've just written. It's a novel. Uh, Twenty seconds. Okay. For it's, synopsis. Uh, here we go. Uh, it's about a young female couple who buy their first house, and the old lady Dorothy, from whom they buy it refuses to move out Excellent. and comedy ah. ensues. What a professional. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much. Um, Sandy's book is out in September and tickets for the live show One Night Only, but there are two, are on sale now. <laughs> and don't forget there are loads of episodes of QI, of course, available on Yeah, Apple. And thank you to all our guests tonight. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Roman and I are here tomorrow and we'll be joined by the legends Sir Michael Palin and pop star Nelly Furtado. We'll see you later. Good night. Bye.